Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji... What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? That is not important right now. You have to help me find my daughter. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. I trust you're enjoying my company. You and I make quite an effective team. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project log? Lamp. Yep. It's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. No, it's nothing. I don't want to distract you, Detective. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Nothing else right now. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? 
The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Nothing but static. Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off! We might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! No time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Eyes on the fall. Something's coming. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. 
fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. But then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you manage to survive despite all that, it must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. The mainlander sees the sense in all this. I will do everything in my power to keep the peace here. So go, Alan. Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. <laughs>